Hello everyone, my name is Martin, and welcome to the ghost town called Varosha Famagusta. This city is located in the eastern part of Cyprus, a Mediterranean island. Politically, Cyprus is in Europe, but geographically, we can consider it to be in the Middle East. However, Cyprus is divided into two parts, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus in the north, and the Republic of Cyprus in the south. Famagusta was Cyprus's most popular tourist destination in the early 1970s. Many new high-rise buildings and hotels were built to accommodate the growing number of tourists. During its heyday, Varosha was not only the most popular tourist destination in Cyprus, but it was also one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world attracting celebrities such as Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, Raquel Welch, and Brigitte Bardot. Prior to 1974, Varosha was the city's modern tourist area. Its Greek Cypriot residents fled during the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 1974, when Famagusta was taken over by Turkey, and it has remained abandoned ever since. A United Nations resolution in 1984 called for the city's handover to UN control and stated that only the original inhabitants who had been forced out could resettle in the town. In 2017, civilians were granted access to Varosha. In August 1974, the Turkish army advanced to the Green Line, a UN-patrolled demilitarized zone, and fenced Varosha in Famagusta leading to the evacuation of the entire Greek Cypriot population to nearby areas. The Turkish army has controlled Varosha since 2017, allowing only Turkish military and UN personnel to enter. Efforts to reunify the island, including the Annan plan, have been rejected by Greek Cypriots. UN Security Council Resolution 550 prohibits the settlement of Varosha by anyone other than its original inhabitants. The European Court of Human Rights awarded compensation to Greek Cypriots for property losses due to the 1974 invasion. In the absence of human habitation, Varosha has deteriorated with buildings decaying and nature reclaiming parts of the city during the Cyprus Missile Crisis, 1997-1998. Turkish Cypriot leader Rauf Denktash threatened to take over Varosha if the Cypriot government did not back down. If you have more information about this case, I would love to hear it. Please leave a comment and thank you very much to everyone for subscribing and watching this video.